Emily Sotelo disappeared over the weekend while on a solo... That's right, Steve. Just a tragic turn of events up north on what would have been Emily's 20th birthday. Fish and game officials say Emily's body was found just after 11 a.m. today. Officers made the discovery on the northwest side of Mount Lafayette in Franconia. Emily's tracks and belongings were found around Lafayette Brook. New tonight, the body of a missing hiker has been found. Since Sunday, search crews were in the air and on the ground looking for 19-year-old Emily Sotelo. She went for a hike on Sunday on the northwest side of Mount Lafayette in Franconia. This morning, a New Hampshire Army National Guard helicopter was able to help bring her body out of that area. To the sound of their boots crunching on the snow, members of the Pemi Valley Search and Rescue Team headed up the trail. While some crews are following the trails, their job to look off the beaten. Thanksgiving Eve, a heartbreaking end to a days long search for a missing Vanderbilt student. 20 year old Emily Sotelo disappeared over the weekend while on a solo hike. She planned to hike at Franconia Notch early Sunday morning, about an hour north of New Hampshire's capital Concord. Search leaders say she might not have had enough supplies to make it through the area. Yes, experts say Emily Sotelo's death is a reminder of the importance of having a plan and know your limitations before you hit the trail. What could possibly go wrong in the seemingly serene and deadly White Mountains? And how did Emily find herself entangled in a tale of danger and survival? Today we got a chilling tale that unfolded in the heart of the infamous White Mountains. Join me as we unravel the tragic story of Emily Sotelo, a gripping narrative that sent shockwaves through the wilderness. Introduction and Background Emily Sotelo vanished during a solo hiking trip over the weekend. North American mountains, known for their unpredictable snowstorms and treacherous weather conditions, include Mount Lafayette, the tallest peak in Franconia Ridge, notorious for its rugged terrain. While this mountain attracts many tourists in fair weather, experienced climbers steer clear during adverse weather conditions due to inherent risks. Emily Monica Satello, however, was one such fearless climber who experienced firsthand the unforgiving nature of the White Mountains. This is the tragic tale of a young hiker who went missing in the White Mountains. 19-year-old Emily Satello, hailing from Westford, Massachusetts, harbored a dream of summiting all 48 peaks over 4,000 feet in New Hampshire before her 20th birthday. A sophomore at Vanderbilt University, Emily was passionate about volunteer work in healthcare and education. On November 19, 2022, during Thanksgiving vacation, she and her mother visited New Hampshire. Before embarking on her adventure, Emily checked the weather reports revealing forecasted temperatures between minus 27 and minus 35 degrees below zero at the summit. Her mother, Oliviera, later mentioned in an interview that while it was cold, it didn't seem excessively harsh. On November 20th, 2022, Emily began her solo hike at Lafayette Place Campground in Franconia, New Hampshire, dropped off by her mother at 4.30 a.m. Her plan was to hike Mount Lafayette, Mount Lincoln, and Mount Flume, three of the most beautiful and challenging mountains in the White Mountains range. Little did she know that this exertion would transform into a nightmare for her and her family despite her lifelong love for hiking and nature. Emily's Hiking Aspirations and Preparation Emily aspired to conquer all 48 New Hampshire peaks above 4,000 feet by her 20th birthday on November 23, 2022. Having already summited 40 of the 48 peaks, Emily embarked on her challenging quest. However, according to various sources, she wasn't adequately prepared for her hike. Last seen wearing a brown jacket and sweatpants, Emily lacked essential items recommended for day hikes. Challenges faced during the hike Carrying a backpack with granola bars, a banana, water, and a backup battery pack, she lacked proper winter gear. Despite wearing long underwear, she opted for light pants and a jacket. Her choice of shoes suitable for trail running or trekking was ill-suited for cold and snowy conditions. Moreover, she lacked critical navigation tools like a map, compass, headlamp, or GPS device. Although Emily had her phone and a backup battery pack, the freezing temperatures and poor signal in the area rendered them potentially useless. At 5 o'clock a.m., Emily texted her mother about her lunch preferences after the hike. Around 11 a.m., light snow began to fall. Despite Olivieria texting Emily to inquire about the hike's progress, there was no response. Concerned as the hours passed and temperatures dropped, Emily's mother repeatedly called her daughter without success. You always go on those hikes. Sometimes she would go with uh, the with her friends from high school, but as everybody was going to 
college that kind of dispersed. And Eventually, Emily was reported missing, prompting local authorities to collaborate with the New Hampshire Fish and Game Law Enforcement Division for a search and rescue operation. Search and Rescue Operation Several search teams from the Pemigewasset Valley Search and Rescue Team were deployed Sunday night when Emily didn't return on time. Faced with extreme weather conditions, including wind speeds of 30 to 40 miles per hour and a wind chill of negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit, the teams persisted in their afternoon search. The challenging weather persisted overnight, leading to the decision to continue the following day. Jorge Sotelo, Emily's father and gastroenterologist, held on to hope during the search, drawing strength from the idea of his patients miraculously recovering. However, Olivieria, a psychiatrist, expressed a grim certainty Sunday night, stating, I knew I'm a medical professional. People were telling me to hold hope but I knew better than that. On Monday, November 21st, the search for Emily continued with 60 ground searches, canine teams, air support, and members of the Pemi Valley search and rescue team covering a vast area in the White Mountains. Despite the challenges posed by high winds, cold temperatures, snow, ice, darkness, rugged terrain, steep slopes, and dense forests, no significant findings were made, leading to the postponement of the search until the next day. On Tuesday, November 22nd, rescue teams discovered some of Emily's belongings near the headwaters of Lafayette Brook along with possible tracks in the snow. The challenging conditions, including climbing over ice-covered trees and wading through waist-deep snow, impeded their progress. Helicopter observations revealed more tracks, but the search was halted due to diminishing daylight. Discovery of Emily's Body and Aftermath The search resumed on Wednesday, November 23rd, with a thorough combing of the area where tracks and items were found. Three teams approached the site from different directions, leading to the tragic discovery of Emily's lifeless body around 11.15 a.m. on the northwest side of Mount Lafayette, three-quarters of a mile from the trail. The New Hampshire Army National Guard helicopter transferred her body to the Cannon Mountain Ski Area. Notably, this day would have marked Emily's 20th birthday. While she was not dressed appropriately for the weather conditions, wearing a brown jacket, the exact cause of her death was not officially determined, although multiple sources suggest exposure to harsh weather conditions as a likely cause. Condolences, Funeral and Memorial Police and law enforcement extended their condolences and sympathy to Emily Sotelo's family and friends following her tragic death. They commended the dedication and efforts of the search and rescue teams who risked their lives to locate her. Emphasizing the significance of safety and preparation for winter hikes in the White Mountains, Major David Walsh of the New Hampshire Fish and Game stressed the need for hikers to be prepared for unexpected situations. The biggest lessons learned in a tragedy like this is when you're hiking in New Hampshire, especially in the White Mountains, be prepared for the unexpected and have, you know, be prepared with knowledge. Know the weather conditions, dress for the weather conditions, have extra clothes, have extra food, water, have a headlamp, map and compass. He recommended staying informed about weather conditions, dressing appropriately and carrying extra clothes, food, water, a headlamp, compass, a map, and knowing one's limits. On Thursday, December 1st, 2022, at 10 a.m., Emily's funeral service took place at the Blessed Trinity Parish, St. Catherine of Alexandria Church in Westford, Massachusetts. Although the ceremony was live-streamed, the funeral itself was held privately. During the service, Oliviera Satello described her daughter as a brilliant and bright shooting star that burned too fast, emphasizing Emily's determination to make the world a better place. On Wednesday, December 7th at 5 p.m., friends and classmates gathered for a memorial in celebration of Emily's life in the Great Hall of Zeppos College at Vanderbilt University. They remembered her as caring, determined, brilliant, passionate, and kind, sharing stories of how she impacted their lives. The climbing community also expressed sorrow and sympathy for the loss, praising Emily's courage and enthusiasm for hiking in nature. They also underscored the importance of safety and preparation for winter hiking in the White Mountains. Emily, determined to complete her hike, persistently pressed on, but tragically, she was blown off the mountaintop, losing the trail. Like any teenager, she relied on her phone, but the higher elevations lacked reception, rendering it useless. Unfortunately, these factors proved fatal. During her final climb to achieve the 48 summits on her 20th birthday, Emily discovered a creek and attempted to follow it downhill, succumbing to hypothermia on November 20th. Legacy and Foundation in Emily's Memory in her memory, a foundation has been established to carry on her dream. 
the organization provides tips and resources for winter hiking safety. In New Hampshire, a fundraiser was organized by the non-profit group Hiking Buddies NH48 to complete Emily's hike. This group connects individuals interested in hiking the 48 mountains over 4,000 feet in New Hampshire. The foundation aims to make the world a better place by promoting safe hiking, sharing knowledge and resources, and assisting the underprivileged, embodying Emily Satello's vision of perseverance and kindness, inspiring many. We would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your comments below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.